Diamond T. And my other boy, Paul Claw. He does not have his mic in yet, but it says, Take your time, buddy. Take your time. Oh, yeah, yeah. How you been, man? It's, it's been a minute. Yeah. You entered a Smash Ultimate event yet? <laughs> I entered like one, and I did actually did well, but it's been a minute, man. Yeah, man. I just been streaming and uh, doing Elite Smash and, you know, some friendlies at people's houses and stuff. That's what's up, that's what's up. At least you're still, like, playing. That's all that matters. Try it. Like that? Perfect. I've been trying to go to Spectrum, but. My job's been denying me until now oh, when Spectrum is changing venues, <laughs> so it's really funny. Uh, yeah. I'm like, let me go to a break. It's a process, man. It's a process. Yeah. So, so slowly, we're slowly getting into this insecurity. Oh, my God. You know what reminds me? Insecurity. Purity. No. It's very, uh, very confident, man. Um, so from what I heard, yeah, we do have 36 people. Um, a small hand of the handful of them, like around four or so, are uh, PA players. So a lot of exciting yeah, we, stuff to kind of come got, into the mix today. We got Summer Haze, we got uh, Beast, Abs. Uh, What's the match? Yeah. All right. So and, and speaking of Summer Haze, we got Summer Haze versus Maverick Hunter on stream right now. Yeah. Maverick Hunter placed fifth at uh, Platinum last Saturday. He also got, I think, seventh. At the Ooh. Forge, the the week before, so he's been hell yeah. Yeah, as, as, at the start, like he wasn't really feeling this, like he couldn't feel this game because he was still getting used to like all the mechanics and everything. But I don't know, Mega Man's like got a buff from Smash Four, which <sighs> it's not annoying for me because I I know the matchup, but for other people, like it's it's a little frustrating, especially like how like Mega Man's a little bit different than Smash Four. Yeah, he's a little different. I'm not ex sure exactly how I know that. Like, I think Leaf Shield's more consistent, and then Side Smash is like way smaller. And uh, forward air is a kill move now. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, so like, I forgot about that. Um, Every time I get hit by that man, I still feel weird about dying to it. Yeah. Or like getting hit hard. I'm like, oh it, yeah. It, it makes you feel uncomfortable. I'm just like, oh wait. I know. It's like, it's like I respect it. I'm happy for Mega Man. But it still throws me the way off because I'm so used to being like that. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm expecting like good things from Matt today. He also got. I think the last time he came, he got third. Mm. Yeah, like here. Yeah. So he's been kicking it up lately, which is good. Character like he's really comfortable with. So like in, just in case like he's not feeling his Mega Man, he has Ike as a secondary. Oh Ike, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember Smash Four. He like Loki. He kind of liked yeah. that character a lot. So he, he still has the same mains. Summer Haze, uh, he played Villager, but I'm not sure if he's gonna still go play Villager. Maybe he has uh, Isabel. Okay. Oh, uh, that's done. Uh, oh, Summer Heads plays Snake. Okay. Oh, okay. Triple parry. Uh, Sometimes accidental parries are the most beautiful. But then, like, you just, like, you, you don't know you got gotten the parry. And then yeah. You just don't do anything about it. Oh, yeah. Look at the color scheme matching here. You got yeah. Fiery Red Snake here, and just, like, you know. Yeah, so far, it's Mavic on it, just dominating uh, Summer Haze on his first stock. Uh, not really taking that much damage, only 44%, but still, like, he's still racking up more on Summer Haze. Summer Haze just needs to, like, find a way to answer back. Oh, uh, never. I gotta play a match. Yeah. Alright, Lemon T's gotta play his match, but we still got Paul Claw here on the mic. Um, yeah, Summer Haze, I feel like, um, like probably a lot of Snake players, sometimes you get knocked around a lot, you really you lose a stock, but it's also the beginning of the tournament, man. Snake can make a comeback for sure. He does have the toolkit. Oh my gosh, he's had to wait like a couple few frames longer, but he's still got the kill. Sometimes you drive the fear into their heart and you get the very next step to the next stock. 
Nothing but bravery out here, okay. Wow, I didn't even know that first grenade was there. Nice activity going on with these nade zones. I like that B reversal, a lot of explosions happening now. 132, what is Summer Haze going to do? Not in a good position to land, but I've seen some finesse from him before earlier in friendlies. You gotta have some finesse when you land as Snake. There's not many options otherwise. He's bound to get caught, you know? It's probably my first time actually watching Marvel Hunter in Smash 5, so this is definitely new for me. Really cool, actually. Oh man, I just skimmed his head. Oh, double leaf shield, getting him up to 42%. Maverick Hunter still showing good movement despite having really high percent and probably really close to dying. Although I know Mega Man is a little heavier. Okay. Summer Haze not following up with the dash dancing. Oh, that's unfortunate. The grab missed. Yes, this is exactly why I was saying that Pokemon Stadium 2 woo, was uh, not the stage you want to pick against Snake, but maybe as a Mega Man it might be different. He's got those Blaze Traps on deck. Mega Man still took it though. If you guys are just jumping in, this is the very first set at 8 in the Break Arcade, Danella, New Jersey. Uh, we have around 36 people today. Um, some of which, are there, I guess is everyone here now, Jackson? Okay, so around like 35, 36 people. We got like a handful of people from PA. Um, so you guys really aren't like really too late. It's still the first set and they're on their second match. I never actually looked at the track list for the stages. Like, just for Battlefield alone, it seems to have like a heavy amount. All right, same matchup inbound: Mega Man versus Snake. I forgot what stage they chose, actually. Ooh, Battlefield. Okay. I can't wait to see how these fellas dance around these platforms with the projectiles. Oh, you got the classic music from N64. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, man. That didn't quite knock down, so he couldn't really get a roll read option. I think that's what he was going for. It's like a little like soft tech chase with the throws there. Oh, double dipping with the down smash just to get him off of his uh, skin there. Oh man, oh man, you can, you can keenly see the subtle difference when Mega Man's off stage, uh, when Snake's off stage, when, when both of these characters have center stage, it gets really scary for the other character despite the fact they both have projectiles really combat each other. Because they got those setups, man, and let me tell you, that is not easy. Oh my goodness, woo! <laughs> Leaf shield thing that rocket. I never even thought about that like being a thing. <laughs> Where's that rocket going? Ooh, I was about to say as long as Maverick Hunter stays in the center, oh above below snake, he would definitely get some uh, extra damage there, but oh man, that grenade made all the difference. Nice. I like the, despite the fact that uh, Maverick Hunter lost his stock, he's still retaining some good confidence. I know we don't have much of a percentage lead, but that's really going to be important because you can see Maverick Hunter is slipping in these mix-ups. He's getting confident with his little risky maneuvers. Um, <coughs> prime example, that leap shield on Snake side smash. Sometimes it's not safe, but you just know what you're doing, man.
Nice choice using up B first, gain the more maneuverability on the side. Whoa, my goodness. I feel like Summer Haze is like about to get a nice response with side smash in one of these points. If he gets it right, he's just adjusting it little by little, and he might just get a stock off of it. Not for free, but hell early. Ooh, I like that reverse down tilt to kind of cover the escape. Oh my goodness, okay. Like the reverse grenade drop, kind of just trying to set up for uh, aerial assault. Okay, Snake has advantage, this makes all the difference right now. Percentage does not matter right now as long as Mega Man can't get down. Snake can rack on the damage and maybe put Mega Man into a dying situation. Oh my goodness. This man off screen dropping off grenades from the top. I feel like Summer Hands has a really good idea of when the grenades will explode and how long to hold them. And that's really important when you're Snake, especially when you're trying to land. Oh, he had the mine on the field. All right.